Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Maina Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of St. John of the Cross, priest and doctor. John of the Cross was born in Monte, Monteveros in Spain around 1542. After a number of years as a Carmelite, he was persuaded by St. Teresa of Avila in 1568 to lead a reform movement among the brothers, which brought a new energy to the, to the Carmelite order. Renowned for his wisdom and sanctity, he died at Uveda in 1591. His spiritual writings remain a fitting testimony to his life. We will now have the morning prayer of the church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, font of all wisdom. Come, let us worship the Lord, font of all wisdom. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, font of all wisdom. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your father did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are a people whose hearts go straight, and they do not know my ways. So I swear in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Give joy to your servant, Lord. To you I lift up my heart. Turn your ear, O, God, o Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply, Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, 
Turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid's son. Show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Hear you who are far off what I have done, you who are near, acknowledge my might. On Zion's sinners are in dread, trembling grips the impious. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spends what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands, free of contact with the bride, stopping with ears, lest he hear of bloodshed, closing his eyes, lest he look on evil. He shall dwell on the heights, his stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. Sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation, has shown His justice to the nations. He has remembered His truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. Sing songs to the Lord with a harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love for the cross, grant that by imitating him closely, at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from a fall, was it not I the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend. By me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory 
of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth the salvation. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to the people. Near indeed he is salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Please all stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their disease, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go! and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed for them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung minsan sa mga reunion ng pamilya o reunion ng mga classmates, lalong-lalo na ngayon, uso niyan, pagpakasyon, magtipon-tipon yung mga pagkaibigan at uh, Marinig natin kung minsan yung mga comments. Ikaw na ba yan? Lalong-lalo na kapag may pagbabago sa mukha. Minsan sabihin natin, ang gwapo-gwapo mo noon, pero ngayon, ang ganda-ganda mo na. Pagbabago. Noon, ang sungit-sungit mo. Pero ngayon, nakangiti ka na. Pagbabago. Noon, ang kuripot-kuripot mo. Ayaw mo mang libre. Pero ngayon, ito. Ikaw yung sponsor. May pagbabago. Kaya, ang tanong, ikaw na ba yan? 
My friends, the same question might be asked, especially by John the Baptist, who was at this time was in prison because of telling the truth to Herodes, who took the wife of his brother. So he was in prison. And certainly, as a forerunner of the Savior, John the Baptist must be assured that this man is the one who is indeed the Messiah, the one being promised to them. And at this time, Jesus cured many diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits are being cast out from those who are possessed. So to be sure, John the Baptist sent his two disciples to Jesus to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus did not explain or justify himself that he is the one, but instead Jesus told them to go and see by their two eyes what are happenings. Kung ano ang mga nangyayari sa paligid nila. At ito yung isusumbong ibalita kay Juan Bautista na nasa loob ng kulungan. Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. The poor have the good news proclaimed to them. Simply, kung ano yung nakikita nila, yun lang ang sasabihin. Kung anong katotohanan, yun lang. At sino makagawa nito? If they remember what the prophet Isaiah is telling them, this is the fulfillment of the prophet prophecy regarding the Messiah. Napakaganda kasi hindi ito chismis. Nakikita, pinakita ang katotohanan. Ang mga pagbabago hindi para sa sariling kapakanan. Hindi. But our Lord Jesus, in fulfillment of what the prophet Isaiah is telling them, perform all this not for himself, but for the people to free them from suffering not only from physical sufferings, but especially spiritual suffering 
And that because after experiencing all these cures, changes in their physical self, they change their mind and follow Jesus. Ganun naman ng tao eh, di ba? Hanggang hindi may experience yeah. Say for example, yung healing. Hanggang hindi may experience yeah, ang physical na nangyayari. Walang pagbabago. Walang pagbabago. So kailangan mo na may experience yeah. Just like Mary Magdalene. Almost killed by the people. But Jesus saved her. And Mary Magdalene followed Jesus until the end. So also some of those people who were cured and possessed. Mga kapatid, marami tayong experiences sa buhay natin. Ano ang nagbabago? Nagbabago ba tayo? Magkaroon muli tayo ng mga reunion. Babalik tayo sa ating bahay. Magsama-sama tayo muli ng ating mga kaibigan. Uwi tayo sa ating mga paaralan magkaroon ng homecoming. Meron bang pagbabago na makikita yung mga tao sa atin? Hindi lamang yung muka, hindi lamang sa katawan na kung noon ang katawan mo ay eh, parang Coca-Cola ngayon, naging letro na. Kung noon, ang sungit mo, siguro, sa Christmas na ito, sa inyong pagkikita, ang bait-bait mo na. Siguro noon, nag-iiwas ka sa mga inaanak mo kasi wala ka pang sweldo. Pero ngayon siguro, may 13 months ka na, nakahanda na ang bulsa mo. Pagbabago. Yun ang tawag ng Advent na ito. Ang pagbabago sa ating sarili, hindi lamang sa katawan, ngunit lalong-lalo na sa ating karakter, sa ating attitude. Pagbabago ng buong pagkatao. Pagbabago upang handa tayo sa pagtanggap muli at sa pagkilala sa ating Panginoon. Are you the one? We'll stand. We offer our prayers with one heart and mind to the Father who not only forgives sin, but also heals the wounds caused by sin. For every intention, we say, Lord, bless us. Lord, bless us, that the Church may be a sign of God's mercy, pardon, and forgiveness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us. That those who have drifted away from the Church through sin may discover the forgiveness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us that families who are divided and estranged from one another may be brought together by God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us. That the sick may receive comfort and hope through our prayers and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Baha'i Dominico and St. Mary Madeline, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord bless us. For the intentions of Natalia, Tiffany, and Grainy, who is celebrating her birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord bless us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord bless us. That those who have died may now enjoy the light of eternity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord bless us. God our Father, help us bring your pardon, forgiveness, and peace to those we meet. We make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we, who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, may imitate what we now in us to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us in the festival of St. John of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O 
sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo ay gulitain, sarili ay inihain, bilang pagkaitimuit, pinagsasaluhan natin. Hanggang sa siya'y dumating, hanggang sa siya'y dumating. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him, and wealth him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Please all stand. At the severe command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Iyan mo kami ngayon na aming kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang magpapatawad namin sa nakakasala sa Mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
प्लीज स्टैंड Those who are learned will be as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has risen for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. from the hands of all who hate us he promised to show mercy to he promised to show mercy to our fathers and, and to remember his, his holy covenant this was the oath he swore to our father abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life you my, my child shall be called the prophet of the, of the most high for, for you will go before, before the lord to prepare, to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory, glory to, the to the father and to the son and to the, and to the holy spirit. spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen Those, Those who are learned, learned will be, will be as, as radiant as the sky in all its beauty. beauty. Those, Those who instruct the people in goodness will shine like the stars for all eternity. Let us pray. O God, we in Saint John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross. Graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ. and labor in the church for the salvation of all to Christ our lord amen thank you very much for your presence especially for your active participation cooperation during this eucharistic celebration we continue praying for one another we need more prayers especially this time hindi pa tapos ang pandemic ingat tayo po so please keep safe The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Can they remember the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital? We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Show your kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our lady of the rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father and of the Son. and of the holy spirit amen for your religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life death and resurrection of our lord jesus christ to the honor and glory of the blessed virgin mary mother of christ mother of the church our lady of the rosary of manawag may all the rosaries images candles soil and other religious articles be blessed and made holy In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.